Hi, my name is Nick George with Claws Diamond Sharpening. Just going to show you a video on how to assemble your blade quickly. Let's go to the table and have some fun. Please take precaution when you're adjusting, disassembling, or assembling a clipper blade. Never do it in the air like I do in my videos. That's just for demonstrational purposes. Please be safe. So what I mean by that is have it on the table facing diagonal down like this and then put your thumb here so it can't slide into your thumb if you add. never do that anyway but in just in case you are it won't slide into you um, and then go away from it see because when you when you go to tighten something and your muscles start shaking sometimes you'll slip but it'll never get you if you're like this turn the blade this way and put it this way see trust me 23, 24 years of experience, you'll, big lesson you'll learn. Keep it safe, guys and girls. Okay, I see a lot of groomers and barbers take their blades apart, mainly to, you know, clean them, make sure the hair's out in between there. And so I'm just going to show you how to take them apart and put them together. If you use a Phillips screwdriver, some require a flat end. If you got some con ears, they'll probably require an Allen wrench. You take these two screws out. And that is uh, a part. And we'll go ahead and show you one more time. Get a hair in there. So this is a cutter blade. This is a comb blade. Um, this cuts the hair. This combs the hair. So never have your cutter blade over your your comb or it probably won't cut very good so I'm going to sharpen these blades real fast so now that the blades apart and uh, sharpened so I'll just uh, show you how to oil it so you can just put a little line across here if it's completely apart and a line right across here and then you take the blade and what I do is take the socket like this and then flip it over and then you have your finger on this see I can adjust it with my finger so then I line it up to these holes and I move it around until you can see in the see the holes and then you put the screw in and you put the screw in and don't move it and then screw it in back it off quarter of a turn. Screw it all the way in. Right, right? It's a little tight now. I can't move it. Quarter of a turn. Okay? Then you take your finger, put it in the middle here, and put your thumb here. And then you can pull it up. See? Look. There's slack because I took a quarter of a turn to move it around. And now, I can slide this right up in there, right? Don't put it on the clipper yet, it's not done. See, so now I can move it around. I wanna line this up with the comb, but not hanging over. If you look down the side here, you can see it's not hanging over. And if you look, see? It's a little sideways, because I can't see it. Then I set it down like this, sideways like this, and go down like this with the screwdriver. If it slides off, it doesn't hurt you. It slides off anyway, it doesn't hurt you. Okay? So I tighten it up, line it up first though. I forgot to do that, sorry. So line it up and then tighten this. And tighten this one and I set it like this so if it slips I don't hurt myself okay now you can look down look down and see that it's see now there's a little gap there 
See the flat surface? That's good. Okay. So let's see if I can show you a straight on view. There we go. That's lined up. You can see because the teeth. See, there's a little silver shell, and that's good. And then put a little oil on this guide here. You don't want it to melt. So now, if your blade's together and you want to oil it, you could just put a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a line here, and then slide it around. Okay, now we'll try it on the clipper. Turn your clipper on. Good job, we completed this wonderful adventure. Talk to you later guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. In the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it, anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe yell at Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better yeah. days. I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just wanna be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work.